Okay, so this is my little Weber barbecue. Right now I've got it underneath the generic cover that I bought for it. I couldn't find the actual Weber one and this one works just fine and it was a lot cheaper. It's got a little cinch tie um, so you can cinch it up when it's raining. And yeah, the, pretty much everything in this uh, video there will be links below if you're interested in checking them out. This is a Weber product, it's a little grill pan, tin foil that you slide into the, uh, the, the catch pan underneath to keep your unit clean. This little Weber of mine I've been using for pretty hard for eight months now and it's doing just fine, I love it. it has these nice little side tables to put your stuff on. It comes in various really nice colors. I like the blue but there's red and all kinds of colors. And it's got these two porcelain grills right here. Uh, two halves that cover the whole thing and they're really good in terms of not sticking. And you've got your so I turn on the gas over there and let's get it started. And basically there's a semicircle there that lights up and heats the thing up. So I usually put it on, uh, I leave it on, on the hottest setting for anywhere from two to five minutes just to heat it up a bit and get it primed before I bring stuff out. I find I do most of my cooking on this thing on minimum, the minimum gas setting with the cover down, everything from steak to chicken, pork chops does really good on that as long as you obviously do an initial sear just to get that nice broil, uh, broil marks on your meat. So I'm going to do half, I'm going to do one half of my spatchcock chicken on this, this product is called a grill mat, you just cut it down to size. So. This is the bit that I've cut down. You, do, you reuse it and wash it in between. It only covers half the grill because you shouldn't cover up more than that. I'm going to set that down there. And I'm going to get my chicken. So, I'm doing a little experiment here. I'm going to do half of the chicken on the grill mat. And I'm going to do the other half right on the grill. Let's just see which one works out better. Because it's chicken, right away, as soon as I put it on, I'm turning down to minimum gas heat because I don't want to burn the skin. It's just been like three minutes and already I'm up to about 250 degrees, which is... Already I'm up to 250 degrees, which is just fine. I've got my Greek chicken sauce there and my salt. So that's it for now, this thing has got a very steady heat so I can basically just uh, check the time on my watch, uh, leave it going, go get a cider. Okay so that's been about 30 minutes, um, it's been on low the whole time, it's inched up almost to 300 degrees which it tends to do even on low, which just makes this a really gas efficient unit. Time for me to turn this giant honking pieces of chicken. So, moving chicken around on the barbecue, you can see there's almost no flaring, which is one of the things I love about this thing. It's not flaring all the time. I'll salt it now that it's seared. Turn this piece. sitting on the grill mat. It's obviously cooking a little bit more slowly. Love trailer park neighbors with noisy motorcycles. Adds to the ambiance. Thank you neighbor. That was sarcasm. This is the first place I've stayed in where there's been noisy people on motorcycles. One even plays blaring music as he rides in. Unfortunately, he's much bigger than me, so there's not much I can do about it. 
So thanks for watching. Please click the link below to go to our blog for the complete review and pictures. If you're interested in any of these products, please click the links below for current pricing. See you next time. See you next time.